Welcome to TM Recaps, there will be a spoiler ahead. Watch out and take care. Today I'm going to talk about the American superhero film called Black Widow. Movie opens in Ohio year 1995, young Natasha Romanoff was photographed playing with her surrogate sister, Yelena Belova, until Yelena scrapes her knee. They go to Melina Vostikov, their mother, treats the wound. While they are making dinner plans, their father, Alexei Shostakov, arrives home. He informs Melina that they must leave immediately. They only packed what was necessary and began moving. They take the girls to a hangar where they prepare to board a plane ahead of a S.H.I.E.L.D. team. They are being pursued by agents. While Melina tries to get the plane moving, Alexei shoots at them. Natasha is forced to advance and take the controls. Because Melina gets shot and Alexei has to hang on the plane's wing. Before taking off, they are able to cause the agents to crash all over the place. The four travel to Cuba, where Alexei meets Drakov while Melina receives medical attention. Natasha snatches a gun off a nearby soldier to protect Yelena when the soldiers attempt to capture the girls. The men note that the girl has guts and both girls are tranquilized and taken away. A montage follows, showing Natasha and Yelena, plus dozens of other kidnapped girls being brought to the Red Room where they are subjected to harsh procedures and training through their lives, shaping them into powerful Black Widow agents. Twenty-one years later Natasha is on the run after violating the Sokovia Accords, and General Thaddeus, Thunderbolts, and his men are closing in on the building where she is hiding. Ross tries to talk to Natasha, but she makes it clear that she will not go quietly. She manages to escape before Ross can catch up with her. Yelena has her sights set on Oksana in Morocco. When Yelena spots Oksana, she starts running after her. The two fight until Yelena stabs Oksana in the stomach and kills her. She then sprays Yelena in the face with red dust, a synthetic red gas that appears to free Yelena from mind control. She realizes she has just assassinated a close friend of hers. Yelena gathers the remaining gas and removes a tracker from her body. When Yelena's signal is lost, Drakov goes to dispatch his super assassin, Taskmaster. Natasha relocates to a safe house in Norway, where she meets her contact Rick Mason, who provides her with items such as passports and other necessities. A mysterious package is also sent to her. Later that night, Natasha runs out of fuel and goes to get more, only to be ambushed by Taskmaster on the bridge. Natasha makes an attempt to combat the assassin, but Taskmaster is quick to counter and is skilled at mimicking movements. Taskmaster tries to take Natasha's package, but she has already taken it. Before Taskmaster throws Natasha off the bridge, she discovers red dust and pictures of herself and Yelena as children. Natasha travels to Budapest in order to locate Yelena in her own safe house. The two start fighting and eventually agree to a truce before literally strangling each other. Yelena informs Natasha about the red dust in its effects, as well as the fact that the Red Room is still operational, despite Natasha's belief that it was destroyed when she allegedly killed Drakov. Yelena mentions Drakov's daughter just as several Black Widows attack them. The two run out of the building and topple a tower as Natasha has to shake one widow off as she falls to the ground. When Natasha reaches the widow, she informs her that Drakov has forced her to do this. Drakov has the widow commit suicide just before this. Just as Natasha and Yelena are about to flee, the taskmaster appears and follows them through the streets. They steal a car and speed away, but taskmaster fires an explosive arrow, causing the car to crash into the subway. Natasha and Yelena continue running, Taskmaster following a trail of blood from Yelena's arm, but they manage to divert Taskmaster's path as they hide. As Yelena tends to her arm, she mentions how Natasha believed she killed Drakov at the cost of his daughter Antonia's life when working for S.H.I.E.L.D. When an agent asked if they were ready to execute Drakov, Natasha said yes, despite the fact that Antonia was present, and the building blew up, killing her. Natasha has been haunted by this ever since. Natasha and Yelena get supplies and drinks while reminiscing about the past with Yelena, 
describing the fake family they had and the training they went through. They understand that they'll require assistance to permanently demolish Drakoff inside this red room. Natasha contacts Rick once again, and he arranges a plane for her and Yelena. Alexei has been imprisoned, arm wrestling other inmates while telling them about his time as the Red Guardian, Russia's first and only super soldier. He tells the others that he fought Captain America, but another inmate believes it is a lie, and Alexei breaks his hand as a result. As Natasha and Yelena fly in over the facility, the alarm systems sound. Alexei uses his superhuman strength to escape the building, but the guards pursue him and attempt to attack the plane. Natasha descends and engages in combat with the guards, while Yelena fires a grenade at a tower. This causes an avalanche that buries the facility, but Natasha arrives in time to rescue Alexei. She and Yelena, on the other hand, aren't overjoyed to see them because he and Melina lied to them when they were kids. When they ask Alexei if he knows where they can find Drakov, he says that Melina might have an idea. The three crash near a farm where Melina is mind-controlling pigs. She reunites with her former fake family, and Alexei openly flirts with her, which sickens Natasha and Yelena. He even goes to try on his old Red Guardian outfit, but he has trouble getting it on because he has gained weight while sitting at the table. Natasha expresses her belief that nothing from their past is real. Yelena is moved to tears because she believes their family is real. Melina tells Natasha that her birth mother searched for her non-stop until Drakov killed her. At the same time, Alexei tries to be a father figure to Yelena, despite the fact that she is still angry with him, until he sings American Pie, her favorite song when they lived in Ohio. Drakov's agents arrive shortly after, having been contacted by Melina. Before being taken away, they subdue Natasha, Yelena, and Alexei. The group arrives at the Red Room in an aerial base. For the utmost discretion, Melina is brought to Drakov, although it turns out to be Natasha wearing a disguise. This was part of a plan she devised with Melina back at the house, with Melina replacing Natasha in the prison cell because she knows how to open the doors and free herself and Alexei. Yelena is about to have her head severed, before Melina uses an earpiece to communicate with Yelena and tell her about a blade she can use to free herself. Meanwhile, Drakov reveals several details to Natasha. First, he has protected himself with a pheromone that prevents anyone from attacking him. Then he summons Taskmaster, who is revealed to be Antonia, who survived the explosion with facial disfigurement, and her father has her mind controlled into becoming the perfect soldier. He then shows Natasha the files of all the girls, saying he has total mind control over the entire world. When confronted by guards, Melina blows up one of the engines in the Red Room, sending several guards flying and also causing the entire facility to begin tumbling towards the ground. Alexei battles Antonia, while Yelena and Melina fight the guards, until Melina assists Alexei in capturing Antonia in one of the cells. Drakov is in charge of security. Natasha then smashes her face against Drakov's desk, breaking her nose and blocking out the pheromone for Melina's advice, allowing her to attack Drakov. He brings in other widows to attack Natasha as he runs away, but Yelena sends the red dust into the room, blowing it up and freeing the widows from their mind control. Natasha tells them to go free and comes to a halt to free Antonia from her cell. Despite acknowledging that she will pursue her, the Red Room starts to fall apart even more, prompting everyone to escape outside. Alexei and Melina make their escape. Unable to wait for Natasha and Yelena, Drakov and his guards board their escape craft, but Yelena takes electric batons and jams them into the turbine, causing the ship to explode and blow up. Yelena is thrown from the impact, but Natasha jumps and reaches her in time to give her a parachute. Antonia catches up to Natasha and fights her when they both tumble to the ground. Natasha removes her helmet and sprays herself with red dust, freeing herself from her father's grip. Natasha is greeted by Yelena, Alexei, Melina, and the other widows who are caring for Antonia. As Ross and his team begin their journey towards the location, Natasha bids farewell to her former family. After two weeks, 
Natasha meets up with Rick once again after he has finished getting her a jet. She now has blonde hair. She plans to assist in the release of the other Avengers from prison and reunite with her second family. It is now 2024 in the post credit scene. Following Natasha's sacrifice in Endgame, Yelena visits Natasha's grave with her new dog. As she mourns her sister, she is approached by contestant Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, who now employs Yelena. She hands Yelena a file on her next target, the man suspected of murdering Natasha, Hawkeye. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you want to see more videos.